16th of September. And what does that mean? Yeah, you guessed it. Newcastle played tonight. Now, nah, for real. 22nd is when the early access gets unleashed. And if you're not on the game, somebody else is. And word of warning, you know how we went over the 10-hour bonus if you're on next gen or old gen? That was the rumor circulating. It's not true. So only 10 hours. And what does that mean for the game? Well, less people on it, less coins being generated, more demand for the lower A players. Simple as that. And if you're wondering still what teams to build, I got you. We're about to rate your squads. So some of these were sent in. A few were also on Twitter. So are you ready? Let's go and do it, boys. Thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and enjoy. So I do like this one. And for the simple fact that he's got Luis Figo in his starting 11, it's not one of those generic icons that everyone seems to use. And I don't know how he's going to play, so I don't want to speak too soon. And I hope that he does play to how he really should perform in game. Lorente though, striker. Obviously, he's starting there for Kem. Is that Lorente? I think it is Lorente, right? I think you got the wrong version of Lorente. I guess you've just built this a little bit prematurely. Yeah, Carrasco, I think, is like an 84 as well. Griezmann isn't really a go-to striker, unfortunately. That's maybe where I'd ask you to replace him and try and find some someone else. Because I'm guessing you're wanting to switch this into like a 4-3-1-2, something of that variant. So Luis Figo striker, Carrasco is not really a striker, nor is he a cam. So maybe we need to rework that. You've got Kante though with Brella, Brella pushing on. He's going to be so good this year. And maybe performance upgrades as well. Love it. Syria uh, player of the month. They're actually bringing Syria player of the month out, which is going to be very, very nice for the game. But Kante is going to be just one of the best. And if you are wondering what's happening with his defense and his goalkeeper, De Gea has obviously moved, uh, sorry, De Gea, Baran has moved to United and Dumfries has moved to Inter. It's a shame they didn't get Dumfries a bit more pace over there. Now that would have been a true triangle, but I've seen better on the game. But Skriniar loved the look of him and Hernandez was getting destroyed against Liverpool in the Champions League the other day. God damn. But then Liverpool were just flooding the attack. So don't blame him. We let him off. He's fine. Good team though. I, I've got to rate that maybe 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. It started already. Point of view, you're looking at the most overused centre-back pairing at the start of the game. And I'm not talking La Cruz alongside up a Meccano or Lucas Hernandez. This is Pepe and Verissimo. Crazy. Just offering so much. But last year, there weren't too many eyes on the Liga Nos. So player prices were seriously cheap. I got Grimaldo for 1,000 coins, snipe. And it was on the market for quite a while. 84 rated. Bargain. Like, you cannot lose coins buying players for that price. But Pepe, mm, a lot of hype. I think he's going to be like 4,000, 5,000 coins, maybe even more. But Cancelo, and I know, okay, goalkeeper, but Cancelo, you've got in your team uh, one rating behind Trent. For Torres, I'm not sure about this one. It depends. If you play him as like a secondary striker to link the play through, fair enough. But if you're playing him on the wing with 82 pace, not really cutting it. Uh, you've got Getson Fernandez, very good non-rare. Cunha, DePaul, and Correa. What I really like the look of is uh, Cunha. Or Cunha, sorry. You've got pretty good uh, dribbling. You've got very nice uh, pace. Like, that's a solid card, really. And I don't think he's going to be breaking the bank. Vinicius Jr., maybe there's another player that you could go for. Even like, I don't know, Rafa off Kem, just to save yourself some coins. And I know already, like, playing players out of position. But for real, like, Vinicius, for the price you're going to have to pay, it might not really be worth it for the input that you're going to get from, from Rafa. So maybe uh, reconsider that. It's Bill Gates. What's he doing over here? Surely he's not building that week one. Patrick Vieira. I mean, it's a good icon to pick. Very generic, but you can guarantee it makes you some money. But this is a good thing, though, that we get to see what kind of meta teams everyone's going for. And you're probably going to be able to make even more coins if you pick some of these cards. But that Ronaldo Fernandez link is going to be used by so many. And I'm wondering how much Bruno Fernandez really will cost. But the whole Messi linking up to Hakimi is beautiful. Hakimi's got a very good card this year, uh, especially now he's a right back. Well, converted as a right back. That's quality. Joaquinos, outstanding. You've got Ede, you've got Edison, you've got Mendy. It's just filthy. I don't think you're going to be able to afford that day one, day two, but it's a disgusting team. And yeah, like I say, it does give us food for thought what people are going to do with their squads. But I'm a little bit sick and tired of seeing those teams. Like a little bit of variation from last year, but it's still the same. I don't like it. 
I want to get use out of those hero cards. That's my aim. And yeah, see how it goes. There you go. We do have a hero card and a good little Spanish striker. Well, I say good little. He's tall and he's probably going to be a little bit heavy. But you never know. The game might be completely different to FIFA 21 and also on next gen. And I want to ask you the question, by the way. Get in the comment section. I don't know if you have an Xbox or PlayStation, like the newer ones. But are you going to start on old gen or new gen? What version? I think that because last year I was bouncing between the two and then I figured that the old gen was, was good enough. I think for the new FIFA, I'm going to start on the brand new version, all the animations and learn the game there. Are you with me or are you going to be going on old gen? But sorry, looking at his team. Yeah, he's got a um, decent striker uh, for the chemistry. Delaney, Gomez, that Delaney, uh, you know what? He still looks very, very solid. Gomez, you can never go wrong with a little Papu Gomez. He's got Felipe, uh, Luis Felipe alongside Eder. He's got that Malle right back. I, I love that Malle on FIFA 21 towards the end. He was really, really nice. That right mid looks solid, but his... Oh, no, sorry. Is it 75 dribbling? Let me just zoom in a little bit. 75 dribbling on the wing. Now, for me personally, you need more. You need someone that can flow with it, that has that fluid feel. You can cut on the inside. You can just do a little bit more. Like Vinicius on the left, fair enough. It seems a little bit lopsided though. I've, I've got to say, unbalance. You drop it in the hero card, which is fair enough. I don't know if that's just something you're planning to pack or you want to go and purchase because you're a fan of him. But the Valverde, he's going to be very, very pricey. You got Vinicius, you got Mendy, you got Eder. And then on the right hand side, it looks a little bit like just you've thrown something together and you try to finish it off like you've run out of coins. So if you're going to go for the left hand side, you got to make sure that you got the right. <laughs> so, otherwise, you're going to be a bit vulnerable uh, Yeah, down that side. But other than that, it looks different. I rate it. There is again Pepe. At least this time, the man's using him alongside Vertonghen. And it's a very nice, well, technically it's a downgrade, but Vertonghen's never looked better. 76 pace is it, and good defending and physical. I just feel like he's going to have that sort of Yuri Bacice type challenge from FIFA 21. Power through the man, really consistent when in position. So looking forward to giving him a go. And you're also using the Grimaldo Cancelo. Fair enough. Kovacic, I think he should have received a better card than that, personally. Sal's been given a downgrade, which could make him a little bit more affordable. And then you go and check out his stats. I think he's fine just to like control the midfield. Rodrigo striker. Um, you're going to have to pay a little bit for that position change, though, which is, yeah, probably not a good idea. When you're building starter teams, well, this isn't really a starter star. He's got human son in there that's going to be costing a bomb. But if you're building a starter team, the worst thing you want to be doing is putting strikers at center mid. It's just not worth it. Find another way. Even change the formation. Do everything you can. Just don't buy position modifiers. Uh, Rafinha, though, looks unbelievable. Very, very good card. Jesus needs to be converted to the wing, IRL. Uh, he seems to be a lot better there. But as a striker, he's still got it. You know, every single FIFA, he has those well-rounded, OP-looking stats. And I wonder how well he's going to play in game. Really, really good. That human son is going to be very pricey. You know, human son with Ronaldo, Sonaldo. Hallelujah. Pepe isn't there. Oh, God. It's these two, though. Vertonghen and Verissimo. At least he's got a new right back in Manafa. And then Grimaldo, all right, he features again. But that's what you're going to see. Most people are so, like, fixated to the Liga Nos now. You can't tell them any other league. They don't believe it exists. Like, these teams are just ridiculous. But Jao Mario, Tonali. Tonali didn't get an upgrade nor a downgrade. Just kept absolutely the same. It's a shame, though. I was hoping for maybe a, a bit of a boost. But Kessie looks really solid. Last year, he was a bit of a lump to run around. And I, I, did, I personally didn't like him, even the special versions that he eventually received. But this 80, 84, is it? Yeah, 84 rated version straight away. Maybe he's going to be the real deal. Jamaro I haven't used in time. Uh, ever since he was like in Serie A. But Rafa yeah, is now on the right. Still looks unreal. I love Rafa. You know, you know what you're going to get from him. Perfect control. Good OP finishing. Well, maybe it might be completely different. Rebic, though, I think is... I don't really mind that, actually. Well, in fact, like, if you're using Liao and Rebic together, 
I think that's when you're going to notice a bit of a problem. You really are going to have to rely on Rafa. You, you put a lot of pressure on him. And from what I can tell, it's going to be that central formation, having those two up top and Rafa as a cam. Not sure how, how well that's going to work. Maybe what you do is you'll use the physical stats from those two and then it open up space for Rafa. Possibly. But yeah, I'd like to see maybe uh, more of a, a, a dribbler added to that team. But that's just me. Just don't look at them and it's fine. Oh, no, that is the actual set. Grimaldo, Verissimo, Pepe, and Manafa. That literally is the jackpot. That is the most overused pairing. Like, I was going to put together my hybrid, and I think it had something like that. So, I ain't going anywhere near it. We're going to have to rethink a few things. And that goalkeeper especially is getting used a ton. Uh, this guy is also running the uh, Cunha as well. I rate that. Uh, you, oh, you got Herrera in there. Uh, Herrera, I think, has lost a little bit of pace. Usually, he is unbelievable right at the start up and down the field good finishing just super well balanced and that's what you need you're not going to be able to find the go-to correct players that is going to get the most out of your gameplay not until you build up your coin total but Herrera just he's that neutral type player in the midfield he's not overly great at defending he's not insane on the ball he's just a standard solid card Carrasco though looks so nice and I think that he's going to be very, very pricey for that reason. Correa, once again, good choice. And then Rafa. So it's Rafa, Correa, Carrasco. They're all the same. Switch it up right now. I hope the next one's different. We've got a big boy team here. And if I remember rightly, it was sent in from a guy who goes under the name of MMM Jack Daniels. And I feel like I remember this guy way back when I used to post on the EA forum. Uh, this was years ago. I think FIFA 10, FIFA 11, like crazy. But Pele, he's got the hero card and he looks so nice to use. Really, really can't wait to get my hands on him. And then the defense is so standard. But maybe that is what we need to look out for. This Marquinhos, you know, he's been put in two overpowered teams. Maybe that is the new meta card, like the real meta player. Because that's the thing, right? It's not that every single player is going to go up like tenfold. You've got to really pick the player right. And if you do that at the start of the game you're in the money. And I feel like Rafael Varane is, is a good one. Ede Militeo, once again, is popping in a lot of teams. So maybe Ede Marquinhos, just because it gives that link from La Liga to the Ligue 1, maybe. But in terms of defense, like you don't really need to change that. Your midfield fielders as well, just absolutely quality. You've got the pace, you've got Wijnaldum as well um, to do his thing. And then the attack, you can't really get that much better than that. That Mbappe is a little bit too good at the start of the game. So I got DM this team and I didn't want to break the man's heart, but I feel like Achipom has been released as a left winger. So with that aside, if you want to play him as a left forward off chem, that's up to you. He's got a good card as well. I've, I've seen his stats, but I'm pretty sure yeah, he got released in that left wing position. But Boateng, Kudus, uh, Cam with 88 speed is unreal. You've got a really cool looking midfield. I do rate like the hybrid starter squads. There's something about it that just looks cool, unique, because obviously you're not going to be seeing those players in your main teams or people wouldn't have been using them on FIFA 21. But good defensive pairing as well. I, I think there's a lot of thought that's gone into this side. So I, I rate it highly. I, this has got to be like for, I guess for the balance and yeah, in every single position, it's fairly strong. It's got to be at least a nine, a nine out of 10. It's just a shame that if actually Pom is a left wing and I got that right, uh, you're going to have to play him off cam. Other than that, quality, really, really good team there. Wouldn't change much. So last one today. And if you do want to feature in another video like this, make sure to get over on Twitter. And if you haven't followed me, look in the description. My Twitter is at Fuji720X. Make sure you drop me a follow and yeah, post out some of like the new cards that you're seeing or teams that you're wanting to build. Like right now, the websites are a little bit dodgy. Uh, well, they're just glitched because EA haven't released the full database. So yeah, a lot of these websites are struggling to provide like proper links and that. So it might be difficult right now, but I've enjoyed it. I, I like looking through these scores. Definitely I've got some inspiration, but I don't just want to rip your teams uh, straight down the line. You know what I mean? But Malin, Emery Chan, Bellingham, Bellingham, oh, it's so expensive. I think he's going to be about 50k, even for 79 overall. I, I really do. There's too much hype around the man. And even EA used him as like a showcase pitcher for the new team of the week that they've got. Basically, it's like 
a spotlight player where they take him out the team of the week well not physically take them out but they give them like a plus two boost so it's just more of a a way of making team of the week slightly better and i think it's cool so once they get that star on their card then you know they've been one of those featured uh team of the week players yeah which is yeah pretty good uh pepper oh no i saw the attack and i thought oh god we've got something new here and then he's using that <laughs> oh well all right, well, I'm going to give that, um, just for the attack, I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. It's, pro it's probably more, but no, I'm just sick and tired of seeing that defense. I'm glad it's uh, it's over. Thank you, boys, for sending those in. I will see you very, very soon, and it's not long until the 22nd. And I tell you what, uh, the RTG this year is going to be produced in a different style. Um, well, at least after, like, the first and second episode, once I, yeah, get, get the ball rolling with, with the content. But, yeah, I really am looking forward to editing the RTG and just showing you what I've got in, in store. So, thanks for watching. Thumbs up. And I'll see you soon. Team out. Peace.